Honestly, my opinion is that the next 12 months in crypto is the best opportunity for us investors to make life-changing profits, sorry, potential profits. In just over 10 minutes, I'm going to give you all of my seven years of crypto experience, the highs and the lows. Crypto can seem complex and intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. In this video, I'll break everything down into five clear steps to help you make the most of your crypto journey without the overwhelm. Before we get into the video, I just want to touch on exactly why I'm so bullish on the future of Bitcoin and crypto in general. It's because I remember how painful the financial crisis was in 2008 and 2009. For me personally, this contributed to a negative decade between 2008 and 2018. Negative term in terms of money and investing. For millions of people around the world, it was much, much worse. I'm bullish because there are serious issues with the current financial system. That system where the rich get richer, the wealth equality gap widens, and let's face it, who gives a toss if the working class and lower classes suffer? I'm bullish because I fully understand inflation and the fact that our money is getting debased every single year. Simply put, your spending power goes down. And before you switch off, this is important. If you don't educate yourself, you end up struggling financially. If not now, it will catch up to you further down the line. To protect yourself, you become financially literate. And if you wanna watch a video all about financial literacy, see below for a video that's got you covered. I'm bullish because everything is going digital, literally everything. I'm bullish because of the successful ETFs that were launched in early 2024, the most successful ETF launch in history. I'm bullish because countries are buying Bitcoin. The list goes on and on. Now, today's video is my attempt to help you get into crypto safely, or if you're already in crypto, help you to be better prepared for the huge opportunities we all have over the next 12 months. Step one, crypto fundamentals, building your foundation. Let's begin with the basics. Crypto might look complex at first, but just like any other skill, understanding the fundamentals will give you a solid foundation. I learned this the hard way. When I first got into crypto in 2017, I didn't fully grasp the fundamentals and it cost me time and money. In simple terms, cryptocurrency is digital money that operates on something called blockchain technology. The blockchain is like a public digital ledger that records every transaction. What makes it revolutionary is that it's decentralized. No one person or organization has control over it. It's also highly secure because it's spread across a network of computers or nodes as they're also known, making it extremely resistant to tampering. Bitcoin created in 2009 was the first cryptocurrency and its purpose was to serve as a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash. Since then, Bitcoin has evolved into a store of value, often called digital gold. Learning about Bitcoin's unique security features can be a good starting point. Each transaction is stored on a block and hacking the system would require altering all of these connected blocks which is practically impossible. Once you understand Bitcoin and the basics of blockchain, you can start getting into altcoins, alternative coins to Bitcoin, like Ethereum or Solana. Altcoins offer different features, technologies, and use cases. Mastering these fundamentals gives you a strong foundation to build on. Before we carry on, a quick disclaimer. This is not financial advice. I'm here to share my experience with this video and help guide you through crypto investing based on over 21 years of experience in the world of finance and seven years in crypto. Step two, mistakes to avoid. Learning from my painful mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes when they start something new and crypto investing is no different. I've made plenty of mistakes especially in 2017 and 2018. So I wanna help you avoid the same mistakes. Mistake one, trying to time the market. In late 2021, I made the mistake of trying to time the top of the market. I planned to sell a large portion of my portfolio in early December, expecting prices to peak. Instead, the market crashed in sometime in November and my portfolio dropped from over 110,000 pounds to under 10,000. The lesson, time in the market is really difficult, even for experienced investors. That's why you need to really focus on your cash out strategy. If you wanna know my cash out strategy for this bull market, see below for a video that's got you covered. 
Mistake two, ignoring education. When I started, I skipped the basics and just jumped in, I steamed in. That led to a lot of FOMO, fear of missing out, investment and costly mistakes. Take the time to learn first. By not focusing on education at first, meant it took me a full five years to get Bitcoin. Big, big mistake. Mistake three is a lack of cash out strategy. Not having a plan for taking profits is one of the biggest mistakes I've made over the last seven years. It's essential to think about your exit strategy before you even start investing. This, by the way, I meant I struggled in 2018. I invested £6,000 back in mid-2017 in three altcoins that went up to a combined £30,000 and then I watched the price go down and I ended up losing that £6,000. Pure stupidity and greed, a total lack of experience. If you'd like more details on my mistakes and how to avoid them, check out my full crypto course linked in the description below. Learning from these common errors can help save you a lot of stress, time and money. Just to let you know, I'm giving you a quick guide with today's video to help you in crypto. I have free courses within my school community and the module covering all of my mistakes is probably where you're going to get the most value as I believe it will potentially save you a lot of time and a lot of money. Step three, buying crypto safely, a step-by-step -step guide. One of the most common questions I get is how do I buy crypto safely? So now I'm going to walk you through it in eight simple steps to make sure you're buying and storing crypto securely. Step one, research exchanges. Choose a reliable crypto exchange. Some trusted names include Coinbase, Binance and Kraken. Avoid lesser known exchanges until you're more experienced. Has some have security issues or hidden fees. Step two, sign up and verify your account. Most exchanges require ID verification to comply with KYC. Know your customer. Regulators, regulations, it's worth taking the time to complete this step carefully as it adds a layer of security. Step three, enable two-factor authentication to FA and all other security features available. This is an extra security step that helps protect your account. Always enable to FA to keep your account secure. Step four, fund your account. Start with a small amount that you're comfortable risking or losing. And please try to remember only invest what you're willing to lose, what you're happy enough to lose. Step five, choose your cryptocurrency. Bitcoin, Ethereum and Solana are popular choices and good starting points for beginners. I'm currently looking to add more Solana, Sui and Potenza, especially Potenza to get some more exposure to AI, artificial intelligence. Step six, place an order. You can either place a market order, so you buy at the current price or a limit order. So this is when you buy, when it reaches a price you specify. Step seven, review and confirm the order. Double check everything before confirming your purchase. Mistakes can be costly, just be aware. Step eight, store your cryptocurrency securely. Consider transferring your assets to cold storage wallets for added security. Many investors recommend using a cold wallet like a Trezor or a Ledger, which is stored offline and is much more secure. Step four, how to evaluate potential investments. Finding the right altcoins. If you're interested in returns beyond what Bitcoin might offer, so you want higher returns, you'll want to learn how to evaluate altcoins. These are alternative cryptocurrencies to Bitcoin and normally have different features or use cases as I've said. Research the project, look for reputable sources like the project's official website or white paper, it's also a good idea to follow reputable crypto news outlets such as Cointelegraph. Evaluate the team, the people behind the project. This matters a lot. Research the experience, qualifications and track record of the team. A transparent and experienced team is often a good sign. As well as the team, look at the community. Like does it have a large following on X, for example? Understand the technology. Does the altcoin offer unique features or solve real world problems? Does it bring any advantages over existing alternatives? This might feel technical at first, but your understanding will improve over time. Avoid FOMO. Don't jump in into investments based on the hype from friends or social media. Take your time, 
Do your own research and make informed decisions. Following this process helps you make safer, more informed choices and reduces the risk of losing money on unreliable projects. Finding the right altcoins can be daunting. It's hard. If you want more info on how to pick altcoins and how to put together a well-researched crypto portfolio, you can join my crypto community on school as I've said this is all included within the course material and the bonus is that it's a community so you get help and support from other investors again the link can be found below step five when to take profits developing your exit strategy is hugely important knowing when to sell can be as challenging as knowing when to buy probably more so an exit strategy is essential for protecting your profits and managing risk set your investment goals decide upfront if you're in it for the short-term gains or long-term growth are you okay with high risk or are you looking for safer stable returns for me i've gone with safe options for 95 percent of my portfolio and the other five percent i've gone high risk as i want game changing returns or potential returns should i say you have to manage risk with crypto i know that five percent could very well go to zero and i'm comfortable with it plan your cash out points for example you might decide to cash out a portion of your investment if bitcoin reaches a specific value this is me as i'm going to cash out some of my portfolio when bitcoin hits a hundred thousand dollars or just before it hits a hundred thousand should i say or you could sell if an old coin you invested in has a major price increase follow market trends track indicators like trade and volume price trends and overall market sentiment with experience you'll get a feel for when the market is heating up or cooling down diversify your portfolio holding a mix of assets can help reduce risk for instance you might hold both bitcoin and a few altcoins and cash out based on their individual performance to give you an example my own strategy involves selling 20 to 30 percent of my portfolio when bitcoin reaches around hundred thousand dollars this way i secure profits while leaving quite a bit of my investment in the market for future growth to help me i'm watching youtube videos listening to podcasts reading articles and looking at market indicators like simple moving average volume and rsi if you want more information on how to use market indicators see below for a video that's got you covered this video has covered the fundamentals of crypto investing in five simple easy to understand steps i hope it's given you a solid starting point for me the key to success in crypto is education and planning if you found this content helpful please share it with your friends or family who might benefit i genuinely believe there are huge opportunities in crypto over the next 12 months and i want to help as many people as possible thanks for watching and good luck with your crypto investments